For many voters, this moment in history may feel like a crisis, but America is hardly walking over new ground with a sitting president dropping out of the presidential race. Not only has it happened before, it's actually happened several times in the not-so-distant past. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the details. With his announcement, Joe Biden joins a rare group of sitting presidents who chose not to seek re-election. I shall not seek, and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. 56 years ago, President Lyndon Johnson announced he would not run for a second term amid the increasingly unpopular war in Vietnam and growing national unrest. Political violence that year, we saw the assassinations of Martin Luther King and, and uh, Bobby Kennedy. We've seen, of course, this year, the assassination attempt on President uh, Trump's life. We saw divisions uh, and discord and volatility in 1968. We're seeing that again this year. In 1952, despite leading the country through the end of World War II, Harry Truman also opted not to seek re-election. Entering the Korean War, among other unpopular decisions, left Truman facing the lowest job approval rating on record, just 22 percent. I have served my country long and I think efficiently and honestly. I shall not accept a renomination. I do not feel that it is my duty to spend another four years in the White House. Presidents Teddy Roosevelt and Calvin Coolidge also decided not to run for another term, but Biden's decision stands apart from those of his predecessors, all of whom served more than four years in office. All of those presidents, Theodore Roosevelt, Calvin Coolidge, Harry Truman, Lyndon Johnson, all took the presidency upon the death of an incumbent, became president uh, in their own right, by getting elected to the office and then declined another term in office. So this is a little different insofar as Joe Biden uh, did, you know, uh, was the candidate in 2020, became president, and has opted after one term not to go forward. But now Democrats are hoping to avoid history repeating because in the most recent two examples, when Johnson and Truman, both Democrats, stepped aside, a Republican won the next election, Eisenhower following Truman and Nixon following Johnson. And this will be the first election since 1976 that will not include a Bush, Clinton or Biden on the ticket.